It's time! Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by 19. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready. He's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. And even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. And doing work with the jab. Body shot. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Unable to land with that punch. with a straight left, that landed flush. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Missed with that attempt.
Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Lee's hook to the body there. His block shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes to go now. Lands the low kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch from the clinch by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. And he lands that side kick. with the uppercut. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Nice straight there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Great defensive skills, he blocked that punch. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice leg kick. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. <laughs> Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Work. Lands a solid kick right there. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Nice combination there. Whiffs on the elbow. Punch got blocked there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Relax, relax. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And... <laughs> nice body shot. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Five minutes in the books. All right, take a seat. You okay? All right, all right, all right. Breathe. We've been here before. It's okay. You just got caught. I need this round to be sharp. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Here blocks the strike and then counters with a straight hand. Nice job by Lee. Oh, beautiful straight right hand.
real quick leg kick. Lee circling now towards the left. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice head kick gets through. Ooh. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Good kick. He's going after the head. Great punch landed with so much power. Finish, finish. Try to establish that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under three minutes to go, round two. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Lands a nice leg kick. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, that one checked. Nice loop and punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice shot there by the champ. Two minutes to go. Overhand lands flush. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Nice combination by the champ. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in boxes. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Good jab there by the champion. Watch knees to the body. Under a minute to go. Going to the sidekick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Clean punch. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. This might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. 15 seconds. Oh, he didn't like that one. Sounds on round stop, two. Stop, stop. All right, take a seat. That was a good round, but I need you to be a little bit more accurate this time. I need you to land those kicks this round. Start mixing up your attacks. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? 
Great. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous ten. Oh, yeah, hurt back. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. There's a kick. Almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Oh, big elbow. Just missed with that right hand. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Nice strike. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Punches and punches, punches and punches, let's go. Good jab. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Hands up! So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Let's go, you can do this! Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh! Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Nice uppercut. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 90 seconds to go. That high kick can get you spinning. Great land there. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here. Some calf kicks and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. One minute now to go on the third. Solid punch lands for him. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You go down all this damage, might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Twenty seconds to go. Ooh. Fifteen seconds to go.
Time. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest. Oh! Oh, we're getting the finish here. Big shot on the feet. Back to the feet. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. I like it, yeah. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to look oh. oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Big power shot there. Oh, and he lands again. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Beautiful diving strike lands. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Lee's in half guard. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him back. Oh! That is it! Oh, my goodness. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, boy. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no 